Greetings and salutations, my excellent friends. I hope you're having a great day. Now, over the past few weeks, I've received a number of questions about shooting with the Canon EOS C100. So I thought I'd take a few minutes today to explain my, my little setup here that I have when I go out to film with this camera. Now, before I begin, I do want to say thank you to Canon Korea for providing the camera for my upcoming series. I wouldn't be able to do it without you. So. The Canon EOS C100, it's a big camera. And a lot of people think that it's just unwieldy, but I gotta say, when you have the uh, grip attachment here, it's really easy to hold, maneuver, and just film on the go, which is kind of how I film. I'm, I'm always on the go. I usually don't carry a tripod, maybe a monopod, which is why I have this attachment plate here, but I'm on the go. I wanna pick up the camera and I want to shoot. And this C100 makes that incredibly easy. Now, you'll notice that for the microphone, I have the Rode VideoMic Pro. And the reason why I went with such a small microphone footprint is because while the C100 comes with a huge boom that has dual XLR inputs and its own onboard stereo microphones, it's really big. And if you're setting something up on a tripod and doing a professional kind of shoot, it's perfect for that because you can attach just so many more things to the camera. But if you're walking around carrying the camera and trying to get something quick, uh, I want a small, small footprint. Now it plugs right into the three and a half millimeter jack here. Now next to it, there's a mini XLR input. So if you're using wireless labs or other XLR input devices, you can still use those with just the body attachment itself. Uh, the other thing I've done with the camera is on the back of the grip, you'll see button number seven. Now by default, this is for magnification when you're uh, focusing manually, but you can reprogram that and that's what I've done. For me, this is the photo button. So since I'm a YouTube partner, I have the ability to create custom thumbnails. So if I'm out and about and I see something that I think would be a great thumbnail, I can just push the button and whammo, there's the still and I can edit that in post to create the thumbnail and it's really, really handy. Uh, the other thing I'll say is uh, I have this lens on most of the time. It's a 15 to 85 image stabilization lens also by Canon that they provided. And I just find it so much easier to use because the camera itself doesn't have any IS features. So having a lens with IS features makes things tremendously easy because I can just hold the camera and then get to business. But in terms of shooting, this camera has an ability that I really wasn't expecting and I'm very thankful for. Actually two. Um, that I wasn't really expecting. Uh, number one is this button here, number 12, and it is the push auto iris. Now, what does that do? Well, when you shoot with this camera, you need to have exposure set properly so that things don't look too bright or too dark. And the way you do that is set the f-stop, you set the ISO, and you set the shutter speed. So you can shut, uh, sign up, uh, sign up. You can set the shutter speed and the ISO uh, to whatever you want to, to have the right kind of uh, image ca capturing capabilities. But depending on the exposure, probably one of the easiest things to do is change the iris or the aperture. So if you're out and about and you have the ISO set for where you want it to be, and as well as the shutter speed, all you really need to do is change the aperture of the lens so that you get that perfect exposure. And the way you do that is just push the button and the camera does it for you. So the way I use it is I'm out and about, I see something I wanna film. The first button I push is right here, this is the auto focus. The second button I push is right here, it's the auto iris control. And then number three, record. And it's that easy. It's one, two, three, and I am recording. Perfect exposure, perfect focus, it's right then there. It's awesome. Uh, the last thing I'll show you is the LCD. Now, a lot of the big, really expensive DSLRs don't have a flip out screen, which I think is crazy, but uh, the C100 does, and I use it all the time. Uh, a lot of times it's just in its default mode. Let me turn this around. It's in the default mode like this, but if I'm, say, holding the camera down, I can lift this up and then take a look at my display screen. Uh, the other thing that we use quite often is that since my wife Jo is a little bit shorter than me, uh, the camera's up at a high level, so she can't really see 
where the camera's focusing and uh, if I'm in frame or not. So by tilting the display up like this, she can actually look up here and have a gander to make sure everything is good to go. Oh, and, and the battery? It's got a little LED display as well. Oh, and, and just for reference, the, the battery on a single charge will last about 400 minutes, so it's incredibly long lived. So yeah, I have really been enjoying shooting with this. It's incredibly easy. I thought it would be really, really intimidating, but it's not. So uh, if you have any questions about the C100, be sure to drop me a note. You can also visit SheRanger.com to see close-ups of all these things. And um, yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun. So that's a great question. Until next time, remember to be true to yourself. Always be awesome. And again, thank you so much, Canon Korea for loaning me this camera for the upcoming series.